All right, we're here with Simon Firth of Belenke Bikes. They're out of Philly, Pennsylvania. And Simon, what do we have here? This looks like a kind of a touring slash road kind of Hello. commuter. T tell me about this bike. It's a 753 lightweight steel bike. Um, long day ride kind of bike. Uh, Randonoring kind of thing. Uh, lug steel, stainless polished Henry James lugs. Beautiful. Uh, I see a little bit of old with you. You've got the old uh, campy canties here. This guy. Or not canties, uh, calipers. Calipers. This, this guy, Pat Gaffey, made a, made a lifestyle choice many years ago, and it included no Shimano product. <laughs> so he wanted long reach brakes, he wanted campy long reach, so this is what it is. Fit the, fit the fenders under there. Beautiful. Now these uh, generator lights on this? Yes. Schmidt, Schmidt generator runs that. Uh, lights on the front's got a little support underneath there, and the wire goes all the way through and up and runs, oh, wow. the, runs the rear light too. Now this is a a bell, a little handmade. Yeah. Uh, well, it's it's kind of trick. That's really cool. Made in uh, Denmark. Very Solingen. cool. Brass bell. This is the uh, new custom colored Brooks professional saddle with the aubergine yeah. eggplant color. It's yeah. kind of nice too. Beautiful. Now back here, it looks like we have, well, what do we have here? It looks like a, a collection of different stuff. Half of a frame with the SNS couplers. SNS couplers, we'll uh, retrofit steel and titanium bikes with these SNS couplers. So you can fit them into the case and not get charged oversized fees for your, uh, uh, for your bike on the plane. That'll pay for itself in like two trips, I'm Easily, sure. Easily, yeah. Now, do you guys work with uh, steel, titanium, any other metal? What's your primary? Primary steel. steel? Um, we'll we'll retrofit the couplers into the titanium bikes. Uh huh. And we'll we made the coupler tie bikes, but not so many. It's gonna be it's a, little, a little more difficult than the steel. Primarily steel, TIG welded, fillet raised, lugged, um, and road bikes, tandems, cargo bikes, city bikes, custom. High end, low end. Versatile. Yeah, I like very that. versatile. Of all the different kinds of materials that someone could buy or, or you as, as a frame builder could work with, why do you think steel is not only the best to work with but also a, a good choice for prospective buyer? That's a good question. It's uh, it's versatile. You can um, uh, it's repairable. Um, you can make lots of different things with it. There's uh, a lot of different size tubings you can use to, to custom uh, customize a frame to your particular needs, like the wall thicknesses and the diameters of the tubes and uh, the lengths of the tubes can be custom custom fitted easier than, than other materials. That it's easy to machine, it's easy to join together. For us, it yeah. is, anyway. I mean, the way we're set up in our shop, that's the way. It's easy, easy for us to do that kind of stuff, so that's so why we use steel. Excellent. Well, there you have it. Simon Firth, Belenke Cycle Works out of Philadelphia. Check him out on the web. Thanks a lot, Simon. No problem. Thank All you. Right.